So we're looking more into the top five reasons people do not invest into the stock markets. That number one reason is always going to lead to um, fear. And with fear, that can lead to assumptions, that can lead to risk, that can lead to many things, but it's always linked to losing money. People are, people, they don't want to lose their hard earned money, but ultimately, you're going to have to commit to that trade no matter what you do. It's a commitment, it's a risk, and risks, they lead to gains if you're smart about it. And being smart about it means you have to do your research. So, so long as you're doing your research, you put yourself in a better position. So, understand what the company is, the kind of value that it offers. That way, you feel comfortable about the investment that you've made. You, you want to feel comfortable no matter what. You don't want to invest into something dumb at this point. But at the same time, understand that even if the market did go wrong, it's not going to like go negative immediately. It takes its time. I mean, yeah, it can die several points a lot by a lot, maybe lose half its value, but it's not going to go just a flat zero and you lose everything immediately. You're going to have some time to like get rid of the stock if you believe, wholeheartedly believe that. It's bad, it's the end, but ultimately you gotta understand how it works and no company is just gonna, most business owners aren't just gonna flat out give up on their company. They work too hard and who wants to start over? And yeah, ultimately it's, everything is risk based. You gotta put yourself in the position to understand what you're investing into. And on top of that, you have friends and family. That's the number one thing. You have friends and family who have invested before in the past. They didn't really fully understand how the market worked, or they it was just one out of the how many companies that exist that they've invested into. They it went a little bit negative, and who knows? Sometimes a lot of the cases, people invest into a company, and it may have had an issue so companies they have issues sometimes companies file for bankruptcy i mean you got toys r us they've been around for how long now they and this isn't just this isn't really the time well let's we'll just say times have changed at this point and kids aren't into toys like they used to be like they're more into like tablets ipods and stuff like that they're more this is a tech-based society at this point, so businesses, trends, they fade sometimes, and this is where you kind of want to understand economics and stuff like that, understand the functions of a business, understand what works, and what fits into our society at this point. It's, it's stuff like that, but... Your lack of understanding plays a huge part in how you make your money. So, you want to get as educated as you possibly can on the subject, as far as the company is concerned, as far as stocks as a whole is concerned, and how they actually move. So, you can't always depend on the advice of a friend or family member or like that, especially if they've had their losses off of just one stock. They, sometimes people, they completely gamble and just go off of what a friend said. They put in $1,000, $5,000 or something like that. You're, you're going to see a lot more movement there, yeah. But that comes with, like I said, the knowledge. They invest in the wrong thing, you're going to have bad results sometimes, especially if you get out too soon and there are cases where maybe it'll fluctuate down, you get scared, and... A week or two later, some months later, the value doubled. There are events, cases that happen like that. And then, yeah, I'm just saying you can't always trust the advice of that. And then definitely not their advice if they've never invested before. Because they can easily be like, 
oh, my friend, my cousin, my co-worker, they invested in stocks. They're just talking about stocks as a whole, nothing specific. And they lost X amount of money. They're scaring you out just because of their own fears. They have no experience or anything. They don't know what they're doing, but they're pushing you away from an opportunity because they're afraid. Don't go off of their fears. Make your own opinion. Do your own research. Get in the game a little bit. Get your feet wet and figure out a smart idea for you. Create a plan. So, financial advisors is another one. That's number three. People, they think they need a financial advisor, and at this point, it's not necessary. I mean, yeah, financial advisors, they can be very, very helpful. I, I, there's nothing against them, but at this point, you can use your phone. Use your phone. You can download an app. I, okay, I'll give you. You can download in the link in the description a link to Weeble or Robinhood and you can get a free stock just for joining it. It's going to be zero commission. So no fees with those companies. But yeah, you can do it all on your own. I do everything on my own through the app at this point. You don't have to call an advisor or broker to do any of that stuff like you have to do in the past. It's easy at this point if you make it easy. And the fourth thing is people believe they're too busy to invest. I mean, personally, we make time for what we want. You, you can't continuously use that excuse against yourself. And especially if you're going to lounge around, watch TV. I understand we all need our breaks. But you could put easily 10 minutes... 20, 30 minutes into learning this stuff and figure out what you need or at least the basics so sometimes we need a mentor especially if we're getting into like options and trading I needed a mentor but ultimately you got to put yourself in a position and then finances that can definitely play a big factor I would always say do not invest anything that you cannot afford to lose so, if you cannot afford it, don't do it, but at the same time, do your research, but, and do not assume that you need thousands of dollars to make money in the stock market, or big money in the stock market. Just do your research. Figure out what's available and what's in your price range. Put a pile up to the side and say, how much money can I invest? And then just roll with that stick with that side change and then just throw it into the markets or just do a little bit at a time some people they do 20 bucks a month they're that's okay especially long term if you're just doing that every month up until you retire it's, but what you do with your money is totally up to you though what you invest in is totally up to you you gotta do the research and then the next thing we go into is the assumptions like like I was saying before we assume that we need thousands of dollars to make money in the stock market when totally that's not even true we assume I mean we focus on things like Amazon like oh my god Amazon is three thousand dollars at this point so the entire stock market in everyone's mind sometimes is three thousand dollars i don't know what it is about people we like we look at one stock and we assume everything is exactly the same we look at a chart and assume it's the entire stock market that's the type of perception that is given to people for some whatever reason it's all the same to them because they're not involved with it and they're afraid of it but there are so many differences and so many opportunities that people aren't even aware of. I, I mean, to this day, I have family that are like, oh, the Forex market and the stock market are exactly the same. Then what? You got the currency market. That That's totally day trading. I'm looking at a chart so I can, yeah. 
make some money in a single day and stuff like that. I'm I'm trying to add to my account with when I'm day trading. You make bigger gains that way, but there's more risk and definitely way more education compared to the stock market. But yeah, the concepts are much different. We know with stocks, you are purchasing a share and letting that value grow over time. With trading it, you are able to make money off of both ends. If the value falls, you can make money from the fall. If the value rises and you bet for that, you can make money for that. But yeah, like I said, you gotta understand what you're doing with that. There, it's an opportunity, but yeah, get educated no matter what you're investing in. Too. But that was everything. If you have any more questions as far as the stock market is concerned, feel free to give, throw me a comment. Feel free to give this video a like. If you want to get invested into stocks and don't know how, feel free to check the links in the description. There's a link to Weevil and Robinhood. You can actually um, get some free stocks for joining. All you got to do is just like sign up through that link and get invested and there's your free share and feel free to subscribe there's going to be plenty of information available to my channel